Hey, and welcome back to another video. We are gonna be doing zigzag braids today. They gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with. I'm gonna try my best to explain everything I'm doing in this video. It is a little bit hard to see how I'm doing the zigzag braids exactly, just because the angles were so hard to get. But I did end up getting a new holder for my ring light just so that the phone can be on my ring light because just having my tripod and my phone on the floor is not gonna do. So I need to get the angles, y'all. I also ended up putting my tripod on a chair just so I can get the perfect angle for y'all. So right here, I'm just creating a rough draft for her hair. I'm starting off with one braid, but we are gonna have six in total. Make sure after you create that rough draft, you are adding gel and then you go in again and part the hair again to make sure that you get that absolute crisp, clean part. It was organic and we felt like this style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with and that's to always keep So I like to braid my um, little rough drafts that I made and just braid them out of the way just so I can see in full what the vision and what it will look like. So when you are doing these zigzag braids, you wanna make sure that you are parting into sections. So since the hair is gonna be braided down, then up, then down, then up, you wanna make sure that you part the sections for the hair um, about, I think I did like five or six times, just depending on the braid. So right here, I made the first section, then I'm gonna make a second section, and I'm gonna keep on going until I get mm, like to the back of her ear. Piece of information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. So I just sped this up because you guys know you're making sections. I've made three so far. This is going to be the fourth one. And I think for this braid, she's only going to have five. Now for the braids up top, I think there I did about six or seven for the ones in the middle. So for the ones on the side closest to the ear, I think I only did like five sections to create a zigzag braid. But for the ones in the middle, like I said, I did either six or seven. And that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. This style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do.
felt like this style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do.
was organic, and we felt like this style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. So this is me starting on the next braid. I ended up like just not using the clips like I did in the last one just because the clips was in the way trying to take them out and braid. So basically what I did was just add gel and separated the hair from each other. And this helped just make sure you are making clean parts and you are gelling that part down and away from each other just so that when you are braiding you can just grab the next section and keep on going. Do not get your sections mixed up now. Make sure you put that gel in there to separate the sections from each other. that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do.
was organic and we felt like this style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. organic and we felt like this style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. Literally after I finish doing the zigzags, I just start braiding as normal. Just start stitch braiding as normal, pick up from the left side, pick up from the right side, and just keep stitching all the way down with that hair in your hand. Now remember, depending on how thick you want your braid to be, is how much you want to add to make sure that you give it length and density. So just make sure you pay attention to that on your way down on um, creating this braid.
organic, and we felt like this style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. So usually I leave a lot of hair out on the bottom, but I haven't been liking that. So I've been braiding my braids all the way down to the, almost to the tip until I can't braid no more and then make a, that small knot. But if you have seen my channel before, you know I usually just leave hair out on the bottom. But I haven't been liking how that's been looking. So I've been braiding as much as I can, as small as I can, until I get, you know, to the last bit to where I can make my make that knot. So that's what I've been doing lately that has been a change in my braiding pattern. It was organic and we felt like this style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. Now, child, this is where we was on top of the chair. I had to put my little tripod on top of the chair to get this little angle right here. Also, what I noticed what has helped me with the zigzag braids is after parting and sectioning them off with the gel, you are going to position the hair either up or down depending on how you are going to do your zigzags. So if you want the next piece to go down, make sure you push it down after you add that gel. Now, if you want it to go up, make sure you position it up so that while you're braiding, you can just go ahead and keep going. You already have that section going down, so now we're going to braid down. The next section is going up, so then you start braiding up. Make sure you do that. That's going to help you with these zigzag braids. It was organic, and we felt like this style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do.
this style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. Now, be careful on how much hair you add to the braid. You don't want the zigzags to be chunky. So make sure if your braids are coming out chunky, you're not adding too much hair to your client's hair. You can honestly just use their hair and just use small pieces of um, extension just so you're not creating such a thick density to the zigzag. This is just on your preference. This is how mine came out. This is how I liked it. If you want the zigzags to be smaller, make sure you are sectioning them smaller.
was organic, and we felt like this style of music was necessary in the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. information that I've always ran with, 
Now, my client wanted a little bit of dramatic edges, so I just went ahead and flat ironed her edges for her with my small flat iron. Then I'm going to go in with my got to be gel. Um, and she needed me to cut it just a little bit. She asked me to, y'all. So don't crucify me in the comments. So I grabbed my got to be gel and only added it to her scalp, not the entire piece of hair. As you can see, I'm only going to apply it to like the top of her head and move that hair down out the way. Then I'm going to grab my edge control brush and fix her on up. This is the finished product. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.